is Lori Morlock with Let's Step with Lori. Today we're going to do three projects using the Heartfelt Bundle. Uh, we're going to make three different Valentine's uh, cards, so let's get busy. The first project we're going to do is this cute and simple card. I did use the extra thick um, cardstock, so it'll be extra sturdy. So this is at eight and a half by five and a half. I creased it at four and a fourth. And we will use our bone folder. I noticed I had covered it up and didn't show you to use it on the last card we did. Let's see if I can't get that. So just make that, it kind of just gives you an extra crisp line there. Now we're gonna use the uh, from my heart specialty paper, and this is really, really a cute set too. I love this designer series paper. I love all the colors for Valentine's. I'm just a sucker, I guess, but I do like it. Now I sit there. Now some of the girls in class, I did make this card in class. They went ahead and turned it over this way, and then they just changed it up. You feel free to do however you want to do it. This is just an example, and that's why I think some of them thought I was crazy because I tilted this off to the side, but I just thought it kind of gave it a, just a different angle since we're not doing very many layers. So I'm going to use my adhesive, and again, if you want to just use your Tombow glue, uh, that way you can move your stuff around a little better. Feel free. Now, I didn't... Uh, uh, I just did this flat, as I'm trying to say. And see, I'm just going to kind of angle it again. Now, for my heart here, they came out with these super cute doilies. And th so that's what I'm using. Now, I use the white side, but you can also have red and pink. And, I mean, those just are darling. I love the little doilies. So that's what I did. I sat there and got took one of the doilies, and if you'll see this, I don't know if you can see it's shining. This is our another one of our sheets of designer series paper. Look how pretty that is. And then on the other side, it's the little bitty baby hearts. So this bundle comes with punches, and not only just one punch, you are going to get two punches. And like I said, I, I love hearts. And look how, see how it's little scalloped edges? Well, that matches up perfectly to this paper. I love that Stampin' Up! tries to coordinate things with their paper, their punches, and their framelits. So since I did uh, the pink, so I just go here. Now you just line this up. I don't know if y'all saw how I opened that, but you just line it up this way. And look, you can just move it around until you feel like you like the way it looks okay and see and you can kind of press lightly and it'll hold it so you can before you decide you want to cut it all the way through so I feel comfortable that I like it the way that is so I'm gonna just push hard and there it is voila how stinking cute is that the only thing I did find and I will show you I did a scrapbook class for the first time this past Saturday and we use this for our scrapbook page. And the only bad thing is you aren't able to take your trimmer and just trim right up. It's just offsetting just enough where you will have to take your scissors and you know, and just do it individually that way. But I really do like this punch. And see, you would just close it and da-da, and then it's closed. And then if you want to open, push that down, and then it's open in case any of y'all had not used our punches yet. So now we've got our little uh, heart. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to take out of our heartfelt bundle, these are all the different things you can get. I'm gonna take, so lucky to have a friend like you. So I'm gonna take my flirty flamingo and I'm going to Get my ink on there good. And I'm just going to take that and just stamp that on the center of that heart. I mean, I just couldn't believe that that fit perfectly like that. 
So we'll just use our adhesive again. We're gonna lay this on our dolly. And I just kinda, even though it's, you know, it's kinda like an eyelet, it's kinda open all the way, but since this just doesn't fit perfectly, I went ahead and just covered up the bottom part of it and just kinda went up that way. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals. Some people I think they call them pop dots. I, I've just always used Stampin' Up! products, so I just only know things by dimensionals. So I apologize if y'all aren't sure what I'm talking about. So I just used four here. I'm gonna take the back side off. And of course I just noticed that the other stamp I need is over on my piano, so I will go grab it in just a second. So, and then I just went ahead, as you can see, and offset this a little bit too. I don't know, I mean, I guess it could go that way too. Decisions, decisions. Whoops, I guess I could straighten it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. I'm happy with that. Now, I did use is the pearl the Share What You Love pearls. Now these are retired. I apologize, I did use them. Uh, if you find any, now I haven't tried it, but I've heard you could use the blends on our pearls and our rhinestones and color them yourself with any color you want. And I, I, just, I just didn't do it. So next time I will try to do that so y'all can see that done. But that looks, just really does. I really was a big fan of these pearls. So there we go. Hold on just one second. You can look at my instructions and you can see the instructions for my next little one. And I'll be right back in less than a second, I hope. Hopefully it's right here. Oh, yay. It's a miracle. Okay, so sorry about that. So I used this really cute little with the baby hearts on the inside. I used that for our envelope. And I really just like the little bitty hearts. So we'll take our flirty flamingo again. Stamp the outside of our envelope. Here we go. And I used a block the other day, and so I'm going to just take that off. If you've ever seen, if you've ever not had the photopolymer, I'll show you a quick trick. Uh, if you'll line them up on your grid paper, and if it looks even to you, go ahead, and then you can just really just sit there and take your block. Pull this one off real fast so I can show you the all the way through, if I can get it off there. And see, look how you can line it up and it'll just fit perfect. So there you go. So we're going to stamp this good with our flirty flamingo. We're gonna go on the inside and you can put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna to try to put it kind of more up at the top and then just press down good to make sure all of it is it gets on there, especially when you're using too small of a block like I am. Happy Valentine's Day. Such, I mean, I don't know. If I hadn't gotten, had to get up, that might have taken us less than five minutes to make these. You could really, especially for your kid's class, uh, your Valentine's party, your teacher's gift, this is really just a fast, quick, Card here. Now I want to show you another idea that's in with our uh, bundle. I don't know if y'all seen this, but these are the little tins. You do get 10 of these to a package. And as you can see, I use these doilies again. They fit perfectly on the inside. They fit perfectly on the lid. So I use two doilies. I sit there and you gotta have red hot. Pour your red hots in, 
I went ahead, laid my doily down. Now, I did take a, oh, I think it was an inch, maybe, of card, my Whisper White Thick, and I did use the thick cardstock, just like I did here. I uh, stamped it with the Happy Valentine's Day stamp, just like I did on the inside. Here, it's the same stamp. See, it just looks different. But what I did differently is I used this uh, this punch. So then it scalloped around. So here, there's two projects, same. Everything with this bundle, you can get all this. Then, like I said, I went ahead and had my first scrapbook class. I used the bundle. I also used the Heart to Heart, the Happy Valentine's Day. And this is from last year, the Be Mine Stitch Framelits. I don't have all the dimensions. I didn't write, I haven't had a chance to write down what I used. These were seven by five or seven by four, but I used the paper. See how I cut all those out? I used our dimensions. I'd also used the Happy Valentine's Day. This paper here is also from this set. So you get all this 12 by 12 paper. The opposite side of it is the stripes. I just really love, and I'm looking forward to my granddaughter's. She's going to have a Valentine's Day dance, and I'm really excited to put her picture here. And since I've never scrapbooked in my life, I think this turned out really well. And I'm really excited. Now I've got a new passion, I think, for, for stamping, you know, using my Stampin' Up! products as a scrapbook class also. So here, like I said, here are my two of them, two of my uh, instructions. My Valentine 10. I used this. I did this for my swaps on our demo meeting. So I, everybody really liked those. And it was just really simple and quick. And that's a good teacher gift also. Now, if you haven't received our new mini catalog or our celebration, please holler at me and I will get you one for free. Um, any $50 you can order out of this catalog, our annual catalog, any catalog we have, our clearance rack. As long as you spend $50, you get to something out of here for free. And there's some really cute stuff. There's the bumblebees. Everybody loves the Gangs All Mirror. Everybody's just flipping out over that. So it's a really just some cute, all kinds of cute things. And our Ladybug, if you spend $300, you get the Ladybug stamp set for free and I'll be doing um, a video on it next so have fun if you uh, need your host code it's HRJFCF3B you'll have a wonderful day happy stamping